Hey there, everyone. It's Steve Stone here at the DJ Lab, and I got myself a Denon DJ Prime Go, and I need to do a firmware update, and I thought, you know what? Why not share the information? Because some people were having issues, apparently, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. First of all, take a USB stick, stick it in your computer, and you're going to format that stick, FAT32, go to the Denon DJ website, download the firmware for your Denon DJ Go, and uh, it's right now it's 1.5.2 as of today's date. And when you get that, it's going to be a zip file. You're going to unzip it. And here's the trick. Once you unzip it, it's going to create a folder with that image file inside. You just want to take that image file and copy that onto the USB stick with no folder right bare into it. So once you do, you pop it into your uh, player here and... We're going to press the view. See the view button right there? Press and hold that. That's going to bring up the utility screen. Crack that open. Go right down to the bottom. It says update firmware reboot. Let's try this and see if it works. It says it's updating. But there's no indicator. It would have been nice to kind of have something there to show there's a progress of something. Uh, but I see some lights. Do a little flash there for a second. Clearly something's going on. I've got it zoomed in a little bit so you don't you can't see uh, some of the lights that were on the um, the meters. Did a couple flashes, and also two up at the, where the mics were. So it says it can take up to two minutes. We're going to find out real quick. There was another flash that happened. Screen's gone blank. Screen's coming on. It says 1.5.2. That's a good sign. I was a little bit scared to do this because there were some people that were, uh, when they did the update, apparently things were freezing up on them and all kinds of crazy stuff. So hopefully the new update is good. With 1.5.1, there was all kinds of features at it. With 1.5.2, it just said there was some, uh, you know, stability issues that were fixed, and that was about it. So that's all. That's all there was to it. Um, you know, everything looks like it's... Now, let me see if I fixed my, uh, my beat port, because every time I tried to get into beat port, I just couldn't get in. You know, I got this three-month trial. No, sorry, what not B-port? What am I talking about? Title. That's what I was trying to get into. And it would say, you know, check a network connection, and then it made it seem like I'm not connected to the Internet, right? See? It says no connection. But yet, I'm connected. And when I go into my SoundCloud, I'm in. So, whatever. Clearly, that firmware issue did not fix that, which means that's not Denon's issue. That's got to be something over with title so hopefully uh i can get to the bottom of that one soon enough anyways if you have any questions or any concerns you had any problems doing that update feel free to drop some comments below i'm going to be reading them i'll reach out to you and i'll help you out thanks for uh subscribing to the channel if you have if you haven't feel free to subscribe hit the alert button so when i do new videos you are alerted that i'm doing them and also i now have a membership for the site. So if you want to become a member, you can go check out the membership site side of things. Look at the different perks. There's three different levels of membership and uh, see which one works for you. And you'll get all kinds of exclusive content. And as well, I'm doing one on one DJ lessons for the members, depending on what level of perk you picked. Anyways, you guys have a great one and I will talk to everyone later.